Welcome back Diablo 4 fans and today we are going to be covering off Diablo 4 patch notes. So build 1.0.3 got released today. I think it's about 200 megs on PC. I'm not really sure about console. Um, quite a lot happened in this patch. But generally speaking, it's a lot of bug fixes. So bug fixes, gameplay fixes, you know, your local co-op fixes, your quests, uh, UI, uh, miscellaneous stuff. So have a read through them. There's quite a lot in there. You may have raised one of these issues before, but have a little look through it. Some of them are quite funny, you know, like fix an issue where you just couldn't create a clan when their language was set to Russian or Spanish. That's a bit, bit of an odd issue. So there's nothing really game-breaking in those issues. So what we want to focus on is gameplay adjustments. So experience rewards. Diablo 4 so far has kind of got the higher the difficulty, the less the amount of rewards you get. And I kind of feel like this patch is kind of trying to balance that out. So significantly increased experience awarded for completing Nightmare Dungeons. That's quite a nice buff. Uh, killing monsters in Nightmare Dungeons. So it's really trying to push Nightmare Dungeons within this patch. Hell Tide Chests. Now substantially more bonus experience when opened. That's pretty good because Hell Tide is pretty good for farming XP already. This is just another buff on top of something that's already buffed. Quite like... Increased reward experience for completing individual whispers across the board. They find that they're not, although you get the tree of whispers at the end, doing individual whispers kind of just pointless, to be honest. So I quite like that they're going to boost those. Um, next issue, no experience was awarded for completing the holdout style event that can occur in finishing objectives. Okay. Another general one is Helltide Roman bosses can drop higher quality loot this one this this changes quite a bit so players can now teleport to their nightmare dungeons directly through the map this kind of feels more akin to what we had in diablo 3 where you would open a rift jump in complete the rift jump back to town if we can now teleport to nightmare dungeons it's kind of moving us back towards what we had in diablo 3 um end game so that that's a, that's a massive improvement so people are going to now be able to start farming nightmare dungeons much more efficiently you're not spending 10 15 minutes traveling there trying to find the waypoint if you haven't got the waypoint you've got to travel all the way by horse it takes a while um weekly bonus caches from world bosses no longer have a level requirement for opening okay great finally the last thing to pick up is balance changes um to be honest with you there's nothing in here apart from everything slightly better so they're not really changing the meta of the game so if you've got your Ice Shard build, you've got your Whirlwind build, they're kind of the main meta or your Bone Spear build. They're not going to change with this patch. This is improving all the others to bring them up a slightly better level, but not to God tier or S tier, whatever you want to call it. So in essence, they're, they're just sort of improving things. I think when Season 1 comes out, we may see more balance changes because we'll have another month worth of data see probably higher uh, changes then potentially when season one comes out hard to really say but overall i think the gameplay improvements around experience are going to really help um the end game in diablo 4 i particularly like that we can now teleport to nightmare dungeons directly through the map that is going to help speed farm nightmare dungeons dramatically uh quite like the Individual whispers across the board again, significantly more experience. That's nice. And again, this combined with teleporting is going to make you want to do Nightmare Dungeons a lot more. And I think for casual gamers, moving into Nightmare Dungeons was the next step for Diablo 4. And I think that's this is going to help with that because you'll feel like you're being rewarded more and you can do more of them more frequently. If you've only got an hour to play the game, quickly go through these. So there you have it. Nothing really to write home about. Some nice gameplay changes that I think are going to add to the longevity of the end game for casual gamers especially, but something nice for our more hardcore and you know YouTube style players because the XP, the reward is higher now, which just gives it a good feeling. So there you go. Patch 1.03 released today. Hopefully you find that interesting or useful in any way. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I hope to see you again soon.